Hello there guys and welcome to Star Wars Comics where today we finally see Vader go down. I know you guys have been clamoring about it ever since I renamed this channel to Star Wars Comics. Today we talk about the comic issue Vader Down, where Vader with the assistance of Dr. Aphra locate the rebel pilot who destroyed the Death Star. Vader was on his way to Broga's Voss. The boy cannot hide from his destiny or from Vader. He was finally approaching the planet, but once he came out of hyperspace, he was met by a rebel squadron. They were in fact on a drill. Blue squadron leader thought that this was a lost imperial scout. They were going for the kill. Aphra swore to Vader that she didn't lead him into a trap. But Vader was not concerned with that. She was right about Skywalker. He can sense his presence. Aphra yelled at Vader, forget about Skywalker, you have to run. But no, he was a dark lord of the Sith. They should be running. With that in mind, the Rebellion started firing on the lonely TIE fighter, but Vader started charging. They were shocked. They had never seen such movement. He started picking them off one by one. They didn't even stand a chance. Vader left a trail of destruction behind him. He was a dead man as all the units were ready to attack. Quickly, they find out his TIE advance is equipped with the deflector shields. They had no chance. Vader continued to demolish them. They even fired torpedoes, but Vader used the force to deflect them back, X-Wing after X-Wing. They had underestimated the Sith Lord. Once Luke approached, however, he knew it. It was Vader. The leader tried to make out a plan, but it was worthless according to Luke. They haven't seen what he has. They won't be able to do anything to stop him. Luke knew what he really had to do. He was veering off formation, going straight for Vader. He was still destroying X-Wings, but suddenly out of the fire comes a new fighter going straight for the Sith Lord. Finally, said Vader, a pilot worth killing. As Luke was barreling towards him, suddenly a feeling overcomes Vader. It was was his son. As Luke rushed toward him and crashed his X-Wing directly at Vader's TIE advanced, they were both going down. But this was a test for Vader. If Luke survives this crash, it means that he is truly strong in the Force. Vader was down. Red Leader told them all. They finally had him down and defenseless. The rebel ground forces were also being led by Leia, who was completely focused on finally ending Vader. They needed to use this opportunity. The Y-Wings were approaching. They couldn't notice anyone in the crash, but suddenly someone saw something. It was Vader standing there waiting for them. As they were ready to bomb him, Vader using the force lifted debris all around him and used it to crush the bombers. They were left shocked. They couldn't understand what just happened. Again, Vader, the Dark Lord of the Sith, had evaded their attack and destroyed the entire Y-Wing squadron completely. As he continued walking throughout the desert, he could sense the power of the planet. In fact, the world was once home to a Jedi temple. But suddenly, an army of rebels surround Darth Vader. With a terrifying look in their eyes, they demand that he lay down his weapons. He is surrounded. Everyone had Vader in their scopes. Vader ignites his lightsaber. All he is surrounded with is fear and dead men. So you might guess what happens next. If you are wondering, I have already made a video about the next issue where we see Vader face this gigantic rebel mini army. If you want to see that, then feel free to check the description. I will leave a link to that video down below. But I hope you guys enjoy this little side story to Vader's crazy adventure. That quote from Vader is legendary. Everybody knows it and he does follow through with it. Spoilers. But thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below. Hope you have an awesome day and may the force be with you always.